if I'm here and I can keep my space, we're going to foot fight. So the same, we didn't use this terminology as we were in our finishing series, but if I went to a Euro step and my foot gets outside their frame, I beat them. I'm just going to keep going. If they beat me, I'm going to go opposite. So that's where our, the terminology of foot fight comes from. Now, if I'm here and I get to my drop and that defender slides to cut me off, if I want to get downhill, I'm going to anchor that foot and come back through. So this is just simply our drop through, left, right, through, into my one-two. So again, I want to focus. Charlie, can you come guard me for a second? Charlie's playing me square. He's not giving me a high hip. I get shifted. He has to react. Because if he doesn't react, I'm going to go right by him. Right? So he doesn't react. I'm by. Now I get him to shift. I can come back through. So our timing on this is drop through, one, two, into my pull. Drop through, right, left. Good P. Good P. Ah, close. Drop through, one, two. Yes. Ah, get your shift first. You know what I'm saying? One, two, get that shift first. Yes, much better. Good. One of the first things we did was focus on our dribble step. So if I go drop through, number one, I need to be explosive out of this. So you talk about a, a sprinter. I've never seen a sprinter try to long stride out of the blocks. They're short, they're explosive, they're driving their feet. So if I go drop through, I might initially claim more space than I would with a shorter stride, but I'm not as explosive. So I'm drop through, I'm almost in a heel toe position, okay, and I can push out of this. Now, me coming here, drop through, one, two, that is not wrong. We call that a floating speed stop. It, but if I come drop and I start to pick the ball up, again, I picked it up early, defender can commit to a closeout. By going drop through, one, two, I'm selling to the rim, and at the last second I get stopped. So I do not commit to that stop until the exact moment that I want to stop. Let's say, speaking with space here, I get to my drop and he drops his left foot. Now, if I don't really have enough space to anchor this and step, I could keep or claim my space right now. Keep or claim. I want to keep it. Split my feet through. Okay, so I'm drop split because if, it, don't move for a second. If I claimed it, drop, oh, I don't have space for that, right? So I got to keep my space. Split, split, right, left, and I'm out if I can control the ball. Split, split, right, left. You got that? You don't have space there, so you have to keep it and then get out. Hey, we need, we need to be poised as we do this, Okay. I heard, I believe it was Micah Lancaster make a, a comment a couple months ago. Said, Poise is your ability to do things in order. Think about that. Poise is your ability to do things in order. What is the first thing that we need to get to here? Our drop. Without the drop, I don't have anything else. If I don't get that defender to shift, I don't have the split through. Does that make sense? If I'm here, Tom, come out here for a sec. If Tom is here and I do this and I get to my drop like this, I don't have anything because I lost my space. I need to be disciplined to be here, to keep this space. If he held this hand out straight out like this, I want to be able to get to my drop, I'm here. I can do this all day. You guys are doing this. You're losing all your space, which means you're losing all your options. Split through. One, two, and I'm out. You are staying in place. You are selling that you're going somewhere without actually going anywhere. Close. You went here and your left foot never got forward. Boom, get it forward. Use scissors. Ready? Close. Let's see it, Z. Split. Yes, tough. Bingo. Good. <laughs> 